Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is Mac and I am back to play some more video games with you. This time, I am back with a new guest. Uh, his name is, or her name, is Vlad, Vladimir Putina, also known as Vlad the Impaler, and she is a hedgehog, a little, tiny, cute, fat ball of spikes that, that, I, that I bought not too long ago because, uh, well, my priorities are clearly not straight. Instead of buying gas for my car, I decided to buy myself a hedgehog. So, uh, you might be able to hear throughout the, uh, throughout the playthrough as I, uh, as I, you know, pet her and she makes this weird little machine gun panicky sound. If she does, even, I can't quite hear it because my, my headset, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, I also got a new mic, so that's, that's, that's interesting. Um, actually, the whole reason I'm playing Rogue Legacy right now, I, I'm not planning to continue this past this, unless, uh, unless anybody wants it to, of course, but, um, <clears throat> the whole reason I actually have this, this, this game being played right now is, uh, simply because, you know, I, I wanted to test out my new mic, and, uh, yeah, just, just see how it goes. Seems, uh, I did some, I did some audio, some audio testing. Um, and it, it seemed to turn out okay, although it was just the simple recording software my, my computer has, so, I don't know. It turned out on Fraps alright, as well. Uh, I did notice that, uh, if I was to hit the keys a little too heavily, it tends to, uh, it tends to make a little clacking noise. So, if that's, if that's something that's bothersome, uh, uh I'll, I'll make sure to fix that, but... As far as I'm concerned, not quite. Uh, so, for those that do not know what Rogue Legacy is, this this is by far one of my uh, one of my more one of my more favorite games. I, I love love Rogue Legacy. It is awesome. Um, <clears throat> it's a two D it's a two D uh, type platformer fighter game where you play as a uh, person a, a, a hero as they go throughout a castle and they try and find the, the, the treasure or something like that. They, they just try and get tons of money. Just money. You know? That, 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 that type of fun stuff. And in the process of doing so, they need to kill all these little spooky beasties. As you can clearly see though, not every hero is perfect. Uh, and they have, you know, reality hit them hard in the face. They have disabilities. Mainly, I would like to think because of the massive, massive amount of inbreeding. I mean, it is the Middle Ages that this is going on, and this is one solid family with no sorts of, uh, no sorts of actually, like, husbands or wives ever, ever described. So you can only imagine what, uh, what is going on. The character I chose is a shinobi, or a hokage, as, uh, as since uh, since I unlocked it. Um, and what they do is they deal out massive amounts of damage. But this hokage, because of like I don't know genetics or whatever, uh, basically is cursed with uh, far sightedness. I think it's called, where <clears throat> I can see everything far away. But as for things close up, they're extremely blurry and annoying, and I don't like it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why I chose this person. They're also they're also uh, they've, they've got this thing where they only or they can't see in 3D. So you can't really see it right now. Well, you sort of can, but if you look closely, when my guy tries to turn, um, they tend to uh, they tend to you know just. You can't see them officially turn. It's like they're, they're they're made of a thin sheet of paper, like Flat Stanley. Do you, do you guys remember Flat Stanley? That I, I remember having my teacher read that to me in kindergarten, or not in not in kindergarten, but daycare when I was very little, and it freaked the living the living crap out of me because I mean, I always had this extreme fear afterwards since I was a little kid, obviously. <clears throat> and I believed any sort of story that a, an, an adult would have told me. I, uh, I thoroughly believed that if I 
was not careful, I could get flattened somehow, some way. And because of that, I I would I would I I immediately thought because I was like, oh boy, you can't trick me. I'm I may be a kid, but I'm not that stupid. I thought Flat Stanley couldn't be alive because because you know he got flattened by a board. So for the longest time, I thought Flat Stanley was a was a super spooky ghosty that would just roam the world, helping out random people that just happened to need the help of. A, 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 a flat person that was as light as paper. So, yeah, <clears throat> it, 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 it always freaked me out because I thought that if I wasn't careful in my life, I would end up getting crushed and killed, and if I died, I would become a, a flat Stanley board, in which case I would, I would not live a very fulfilling life other than helping these random people who I don't even know they, 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 who knows they could be a serial killer or something like that and as far as I'm concerned I just I just helped out a serial killer why no particular reason I'm just I'm just flat you know it, it, like that Timmy Timmy the psychopathic serial killer was was trapped in a well or, or he was trapped in like a storm drain somehow and for some odd reason little Timmy uh, he, he, he managed to get in there, and because of my flat Stanley powers, I was able to save little Timmy. In which case, he proceeded to <coughs> go attack a group of poor orphan boys. And it was all my fault, because I was a spooky ghosty named Flat Stanley. Just, just in case you're wondering, I have no idea what the hell I just said. I, like, I, I have just completely, completely forgot everything I have just said. It, I, I, yeah, I am extremely confused now. What, what is, what is going on? Why am I here? I, I don't understand this. Why are there horses, the Dark Stallions? Are they, are they like the Dark Brotherhood? Is that what they are? That the Dark Brotherhood from Scrim? And they, they, they gather, they, they go across the land, killing poor homeless people, and, and orphan, or, or, orphan, orphan uh, people, because they're, they're, they're these, ev they're, they're these super dark, ominous types of, oh boy, I just died. Well, did I learn my lesson? The question is, of course, no. I mean, the answer. The answer is, of course, yes. What? Shut up. I, I know what I'm talking about. Look, look at my, look at my little hero sitting, uh, sitting atop his castle, way up there. He, he knows what's up. He knows what's up. He's just sitting up there, just chilling, chilling like a cool little villain. Okay, so <clears throat> this is Sir Wallace, the Barbarian King. He, he is, he is a Fusro da happy dude with OCD so I'm gonna use him and you're gonna see his his power his tremendous amount of force that he they just leaks out of every pore of his body just look at this I, I understand that says faro dose but I, I just can you hear it listen listen to this you can hear it on the whispers of the wind. That is my hedgehog, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you can hear that, otherwise this will be extremely awkward because you'll just be hearing you'll be hearing like nothing, and I'm just talking about how my hedgehog is making noise, and and I'll sound like a crazy person because because of because of my 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 hedgehog. I, I I swear I'm not crazy. That that was my hedgehog. Believe me, please. Believe me. You can trust me, can't you? Yes. It, yes. Yes, you can. You can trust me. I am telling the complete honesty. 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 You, you can't go wrong with, with honesty. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm. I'm losing my mind. Insanity is. It's. It's one fun thing. Don't do crack, kids. Don't do crack. 
because next thing you know, you're 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 face down in a in an enchanter's place trying to figure out what you can't afford, and next thing you know, you're going back to your castle just to buy mana because you know you can't afford anything else because you're addicted to crack. You, you get what I'm coming what I'm coming from here. You see, I came from the streets, the streets of Campton, Campton or Baston, one of the two. Take your pick. Either way, it was a risky, risky deal. I, I barely made it out alive. The only reason I did, the only reason, <clears throat> was because of my addiction to crack. No, 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 no. That was that was the whole reason I was in. I was in the Branks or Campton. It was my addiction to crack. I, I got out of it by getting off my addiction to crack to my addiction to heroin. No, no, no never mind. No, 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 that was also wrong. My addiction to... It, it, it doesn't involve an addiction. Forget I said anything. Just, 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 just forget it. You didn't, you didn't hear anything. You just keep watching the barbarian dude fly through the air like a majestic eagle as, as he, as he you know, kills all the enemies for the sake of gold and, and 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 money because he needs that money. Of course, I I wish I had that much money. Granted, he'll he, he'll never be able to spend it. It's all for his. It's all for the rest of his family because all the money that that he gets, he's expected to die in here, which he will inevitably. I I I bet you money. That this this barbarian king will die, and I, I I am fully certain that he actually will die in in one of two reasons, or in in two reasons actually. Uh, the first reason being I control him, so if I want I can just have him kill himself, and I will get to keep my money and also win the bet that you guys foolishly got into, or I could just prove to you that he's going to die by playing through all of this and not completing the game and dying, which is exactly what's going to happen. <clears throat> because although Barbarian Kings take a lot of damage, they don't dish out a whole lot. <clears throat> Pardon my cough. So, oh, 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 oh my, hello. Greetings, adventurer. I am here to give you a chance of a lifetime. For the measly sum of 25% of your gold, I will give you a chance to open one of three chests. I, I wanna, I wanna, uh, once, once the chest, one chest will triple what you paid, but the other two are empty. Oh, oh, oh my. Well, um, give it to, give it a shot, a shoot, shot put, shot put golf. That's, that's what this is. I'm playing a game of shot put golf here. It's, it's a deadly game. One that I'm sure I won't make it out alive. Nothing. I knew it. You stupid. So stupid. Uh, shut up, elf. You, you monkey. You, 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 you orangutan. You don't, you don't know. You don't. You, you, you. You have no idea what you what you what you what you're pre preaching about, Judge. You just don't know. You don't know the life I live. You don't know. You don't know the 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 <coughs> the, 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 the the troubles I've gone through. Uh, this the, the hardships that were hard. To handle because they were hardships. I mean, just look at this. I here I am, scouring a castle. There's red little laser beams coming from floating eyeballs everywhere. I, I, I'm just there's floating balls of spikes, which, in complete honesty, the janitorial staff should really clean those up. They're they're obviously like some sort of weird hybrid of tumbleweed that just destroys everything in its path and injures me very much. And considering how my family owns this castle, I think it, I think it would be our responsibility to clean it up for once. I mean, seriously, why? It, there, there's like a minor class, there's a like class, there's a there's a barbarian king class, but there's not a single janitor class. Where's where's the people? <coughs> where's the people from Dust Force when you need them? Like the, those those guys can sweep leaves and dirt off of off of ceilings and 
other other miscellaneous buildings in less than seconds and here I am scouring this castle just destroying all my family's property just just for the sake of for the sake of a chunk of meat that was a chunk of meat for some reason my family decided to hide a chunk of meat in whatever I just broke I think it was a lamp or something like I'd understand it if it was a barrel or a table or something in which case I wouldn't need to break it I would I feel I would just I would need to take that said chunk of meat off the table or out of the barrel and then eat it like a normal human being but no I'm so destructive I'm so chaotic that I, I need to break everything I mean my man is OCD after all he, he his, his thing said that he needed to break everything in order to you know be be a whole person in which case I, I feel bad for the poor the poor residents because what if I'm the monster here and here I am completely demolishing these poor monsters house for their for their meat and vials of mana and, <clears throat> and money because I think it's my house you know what the that, that's that's what it is. These monsters have no idea. Like they just woke up from their hourly nap and just saw me just running around like a like a like a crazed buffoon, just just breaking their breaking their candle stands and their and their and their and their other miscellaneous items. I, and I apologize, eyeball, that I just killed you. You're, you're probably, a, probably just trying to stop me. But there's nothing I can do. I, I, I simply, I simply can't. I, I have to break these items. I have to go through this house, and I need to kill people. I need to be a brutal human being. It's, it's in my, it's in my character's nature. I am the monster. You're the monster. We are all, we all are the monsters. It, we, we are, we are always sometimes monsters. There's another game reference. Play that game. It's a fun game. I, who knows? I might I might do a playthrough of that game. It sounds like a fun idea. Well, boys and girls, I hope you didn't uh, I hope you didn't you know notice my little editing slip here. I I, I tended to uh, you didn't you didn't miss anything really. I I just kind of if you look up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see my map, and uh, it seems I I all I did was I ran out forward and just fell down here and got hit by a bunch of by a bunch of what you would do hickeys so yeah um uh, as i was uh, as i i was going to say just now uh that's it for the that's it for right now um i'm gonna post more videos but not of rogue legacy it, it's just it's it's a game that will take much too long of a time and just you know won't uh, won't won't be as interesting it'll just die out really fast because all, all, all you would see me do is run through a castle, babbling nonsense <coughs> uh, about everything. So, so yeah, uh, it's it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. It's I think fifteen dollars on uh, I think it's fifteen dollars something like that on uh, on Steam. I suggest you get it. It it definitely is worth the money. Um, I've clocked in at least 20 hours into this, I'd say. I, I, I don't know exactly, but I would say something along those lines. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed me coming back, as well as the new additions, such as my hedgehog, Vlad the Impaler. Uh, say hi, Vlad. Yes, yes, lick, lick, lick your nose. Okay, and, uh, and also... My uh, my my new mic, my Blue Yeti. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Uh, I'll be posting more videos now. Now that I have a better mic that that works more. And uh, yeah, see you guys around. Peace.